Hey guys, this is Whale Masher. I'm going to pick up this commentary where I left off left off on the last one. Uh, that was talking about the uh, equipment that they've added into Black Ops. And what I was saying was that I feel like the equipment that they've added could become a total game changer for what we know about Call of Duty. You know, we've been accustomed to the general sort of equipment and perks that you get in Call of Duty from the start, you know? We, we're now being given these new pieces of equipment that could totally change the way people play the game. And these are the uh, camera spike and the motion sensor. The jammer, I'm not really too concerned about. Uh, I can see it having its place. I can really see it being used as a bit of a, as a decoy. Um, people are going to be going to place the, place the jammer down and watch that general area for the enemy team to notice that there's a jammer and then try to hone in on it and destroy it or look for you know people to kill around the jammer while they're doing this you can easily take them out however the camera spike and the uh, the motion sensor are what I'm, I'm really been thinking about and I'm thinking on an individual level playing solo these are going to have their place from time to time. I'm not exactly sure how. I haven't thought about it too much. I haven't played with it, so I really can't say. But I think playing as a team, you have a team of four or six people who you're playing with, I can see that these items being used in conjunction with each other and having the people who are using them actually relay the information from their pieces of equipment to everybody else on the team, I can see it being just a really, really uh, tactical situation. It could turn out that they're totally crap and, you know, pretty useless. But the way that I'm thinking about it is you you have a guy defending a flag, let's say. He's defending, on CTF, he's defending your flag. He can, you know, use whatever he wants for equipment. doesn't really matter. He can throw down a motion sensor. Or he keeps some Z4, whatever he wants. However, the people rushing the flag, they can take cameras and drop a camera every time they rush. That way, if they see someone running towards their camera, they can tell the guy, hey, there's a guy running down alley A or street B. So the guy who's defending is going to know where to look. They don't care if that camera gets destroyed because, you know, they're planning on either getting that flag and bringing it back or dying trying to do so. So they don't care how often the camera dies because even if it gets killed, they can tell that guy, hey, someone just broke the camera on street A. Go and get him. That's just one of the ways that I see that item being used. And, uh... It's kind of exciting to think how people are going to implement its use. The other thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, the tactical grenades that they've added. One in particular, and that's the decoy. The decoy is something that I've wanted in a game for quite a while. I think it's a really good idea, and I hope that they've implemented it well. It could either have been done really, really well or very, very badly. It could have been done somewhere in the middle, which would be fine. Very, very badly would be if they had taken, you know, say, 10 or 20 loops of gunfire and every time you throw a decoy it plays one of those loops after a couple weeks of playing the game you're gonna know what these loops sound like and and you're not gonna you know you're just gonna ignore the decoys the really good way they could have implemented it would be they take into account what weapons are being used on the map when you throw the decoy and simulate gunfire from those weapons that would be amazing if that's how they did it the other way they could have done it would just be to simulate any random gunfire. As long as it's not a loop, that's, you know, perfectly acceptable and would work fine. As it is right now, I kind of use smoke as a uh, as a decoy. If, I, if there's a guy, if I think there's a guy or a group of people between me and where I want to get to, I'll throw smoke over top of them or to the point where I want to go and make them turn around and look at that smoke. While they're doing that, I can hopefully run up and shoot them in the back. You know, you could throw a you could throw a flash grenade or a stun grenade over there, but they only have to turn around long enough to see that there's no one there. With the smoke, they really have to pay attention to make sure no one's going to come running through it and try and you know trying to shoot them. Now I want to talk about kill streaks a little bit before the video ends. I'm not quite sure what kill streaks I'm going to use. I know I'm going to try out the RC card just because you know I want to I want to give it a shot. It looks kind of interesting but I don't think I'm going to be using it very often. What I think I'll be using to start with will be the spy plane, and from there I'm probably going to move forward into something uh, something like the like a five kill streak, probably the care package from Rich Point. I'm going to I want to use that care package just so I can 
see what all the other kill streaks are like. It's going to let me kind of get a feel for them before I buy them. But it's probably going to go to it's probably going to go from this biplane of 3 to the care package. So it's going to go 3 5 and then I'm probably going to use either 6 for the mortar team cuz I want to try that out or if the attack helicopter in this isn't as useless as it was in Modern Warfare 2, then I'm going to try the attack helicopter. The Valkyrie rockets if the attack helicopter sucks, I'm going to use the Valkyrie rockets, assuming I can easily get to 7 kills. If I can easily get to 8, I'll skip 7 altogether and go for the Blackbird, because that thing is amazing. For those who don't know, the Blackbird is like a UAV that actually shows you a constant visual of where the enemy team is moving and what direction they're facing. So, that thing is pretty nuts. And then, if I can get the higher kill streaks, then I'll, you know decide then what I'm going to use. And uh, that pretty much brings this to an end. I'm, I might do another uh, I might do another follow-up to this. I'm not sure. Let me know if you want me to. Let me know what you want me to talk about and I will. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up for me. That would be awesome. Comment, that would be great too. Both of them really help me get more views. Don't forget to su subscribe if uh, you like what you've, what you've heard. And check out some of my past videos. Here's a link to my live stream right now. And I'll probably probably play some Black Ops on there when it comes out. I'm pretty much on there at least once a day. Recently, it's not been for so long. Talk to you soon.